Now that we have the description field converted to a template field, we'll remove the plain text box and put in the HTML, the Ajax HTML editor into there. So to do this, I'm going to go to the Ajax section of the toolbox, grab the editor, drag it off and stick it here. Then I'm also going to remove the text box. And since this is an Ajax control, I also need to have a script manager. And I'm going to put it up here at the very top before the heading just to kind of have it out of the way. So that's all there is to put in the text box in the template. I'm sorry, the HTML editor in the template. But what we also need to do is fix our parameters here so that they read from that HTML editor. It's set up to read from a text box. So what we need to do is to count the number of fields, one, two, three, for the description. Then over here, our question marks will say, we'll go one, two, three. Then we'll change this to say, at description. And again, if you need details on this, you can go watch the video where we describe exactly what's going on. Then I come here to the insert parameters, change the parameter to a control parameter for description. I leave type equals, or name equals description, type equals string. I leave that. And then I'm also going to go out to my website and just grab this chunk of code. It's at TonySocko.com. Grab this chunk of code because we also need this. And put this at the end of this. So now it's all set up, ready to go. Um, we just need to test it out. So I'm going to actually start this from my default page, or sorry, my admin page. Start this up. Say we want to create a new product section. Ideas to the category. Let's see, we'll put in clothing. And then down here in the description, this is this describes clothing. So we can actually put some real text in here later. And then we'll change, just, just change a chunk of this, make it bigger just to make sure the editor's working, and we'll change color on this, text color to red, and then picture, let's just say this is clothing.jpg, and let's align this one left, let's say insert. Okay, so it looked like it worked, we didn't get any errors. What we'll do is, uh, in the next tutorial, is add in uh, some type of feedback so that Scott knows that that happened that was that new database entry was created successfully